guys my name is shang dubey so we are going to learn about the great indian posture this news become important because recently the honorable supreme court has directed the union government to come come up with a plan to protect this species that is uh, the great indian posture which is a critically endangered species uh, and that is the reason it has become become an, an important news for us so first of all we will uh, try to learn about this learn about the the great indian buster first of all it is a state animal of rajasthan it is a critical critically endangered species as mentioned by iucn international union for conservation of nature it is also considered as a flagship species uh, any species which is on the verge of extinction can be called flagship species it is not only conf uh, confined to this specific species that is the great indian buster any species which is under threat or critically endangered it can be uh, it can be categorized as uh, flagship species because when you want to protect any particular species you need to attract the attention that is the reason uh, such species species are categorized as flagship species now uh, this species this bird is uh, specifically uh, concentrated in the two state rajasthan and gujarat but it can be found other places also but generally it is found in these two states now we are going to learn about what are the threats to the to this bird uh, generally uh, due to the electric transmission lines uh, they are they generally they are generally electrocuted and uh, it is it has become very frequent frequent phenomena in the rajasthan gujarat where uh, the the great indian buster is electrocuted there are other reasons as well uh, because there is due to the rapid expansion of the agricultural land uh, their habitat is decreasing there is also the habitat destruction and fragmentation due to the agricultural uh, uh, expansion of the agricultural land there is also issue of hunting uh, which is very common uh, and it happens to uh, many species birds animals like that as we have also learned uh, got to know about the icn so we will know, know the few facts about that uh, uh, the I, uh, icn that is international union for conservation of nature it was established in 1948 and it is located in uh, located or, or, or we can say that it is headquartered in the gland switzerland Uh, already we have got to know about the flagship species so we are going to move on to what are the criteria for the critically endangered species there are few criteria uh, given by the iucn uh, international union for conservation of nature the uh, the first it, first is that the the number of uh, birds should be reduced to around 90% uh, in the last 10 years or three generations okay second is that the reduction sh should happen across the geogra geographic location and the the total number of population should be less than 250 but the uh, at the same time the mature individual should uh, be less than the 50 and there is a probability that probability that it it its in extinction can happen in the void so these are the few uh, these are the few criteria given by the icn uh, thank you guys